This video is sponsored by Versus.com who are doing a giveaway for multiple phones. Details will be at the end of the video and link in the description. But for now, WWDC 2022 just happened today. So we're gonna go through everything important as fast as possible. Ready, set. Good morning. iOS 16, we get a whole new lock screen. Custom clocks, widgets, much more dynamic now. You can tailor it to your liking. Even have multiple lock screens. Notifications roll in from the bottom. You can have live updating notifications like for sports games. In iMessage now, you can undo sending messages. Edit your messages. Mark a thread is unread. SharePlay comes to messages. Dictation's gotten better. You can copy text from video. Wallet app has gotten better. Apple map updates that won't convince anyone to switch to Apple Maps. More robust family features. Privacy and safety updates. The home app has been redesigned. Apple CarPlay is getting better. You can use all the displays to be everything at once. Pedometer, climate controls, etc. We get watch OS 9. There's new notifications, new podcast app, rework of the workout app, fitness app is coming to iPhone, new medications app. Now we move to Mac, and yes, we get the M2 chip. Second gen 5 nanometer technology, 20 billion transistors, other fancy tech jargon, 18% better performance at the same wattage, and we get a new MacBook Air with that M2 chip. There's a beautiful new blue color, 20% reduction in volume from the last air. Updated 13.6 inch display with a notch. The 13 inch MacBook Pro is also getting the M2 chip. Still has the touch bar for some reason. And two MacBook Airs, $1199. MacBook Pro starts at $1299. Now we come to new macOS Ventura, which I'm being told has nothing to do with Ace Ventura and Jim Carrey. There's a new stage manager to help keep track of Windows. Basically, it's like the dock, but for opened apps. Spotlight's gotten better. Mail app gets a decent upgrade. There's a feature that aims to replace passwords with a pass key. Basically, more secure. Metal 3 updates and No Man's Sky is coming to Mac, as well as the new Resident Evil. You can do handoff with FaceTime now, and you can actually use your iPhone as a camera. Finally, no more crappy webcam. You can even use the ultra wide camera to see the desk in front of you. you get a slow-mo shot of Craig and his hair as we move to iPad OS. Lots of updates here, including a new weather app, better features for collaborating with people through FaceTime and messages, new app called Freeform. You can be on a FaceTime call and basically use a digital whiteboard. It's coming to all platforms later this year. Game Center has been updated. There's some new desktop features coming, like a huge update to the Files app. The M1 iPad is getting a whole bunch of cool options. Display scaling, RAM management. You can resize Windows and we get Stage Manager like on Mac OS. All the software mentioned gets developer betas today, public beta July, and official releases will be this fall. And that's about everything that's happened today with WWDC. 22. So let's talk about today's giveaway from Versus.com. They're very generously giving away a Galaxy S22 Ultra, iPhone 13 Pro, and Pixel 6 Pro. Pretty darn awesome, and you can use the link in the description and sign up for your chance to win. Versus.com is an amazing website where you can compare literally everything from smartphones and graphics cards to the first iPhone versus the Galaxy S22 Ultra. You name it, they have it. They've got a great YouTube channel as well. Great website. I actually used them a lot before. So when they approached me saying they wanted to do a giveaway for you guys, well, there was no way I was going to say no. So again, make sure you go ahead and enter that giveaway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.